Hey, welcome back to Red G TV. Hope you enjoy until next time. Like, share, subscribe. Back to you, Red G TV. Wow, what's poppin' people? Welcome to Red G TV, man. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. We here. What can I say? On today's episode, it's a mystery. Y'all see the thumbnail. Let's get into it. Yeah, man. Uh, anybody who in law enforcement or people know the law, when Homeland Security ran up into his house, uh, people will tell you or people knew there was just a matter of time that they was going to indict him and bring him in uh, to see the judge, bro. It was just a matter of time. Uh, I just figured out with the grand jury and their different sessions and stuff like that, and then what uh, one of the uh, witnesses told me, I just figured it out that it was going to be around September that they were going to bring them in, bro. Um, this is, it's, people might not understand. It's difficult when you see a brother that has so much promise become an icon as far as in the music business and stuff that he did uh, to turn around and um, just tear his whole life down. But it's all because of his mentors and the people that trained him and taught him the music business. You know, it's all about the people who trained and taught him the music business because Puff wasn't, um, uh, uh, he wasn't born a monster. You know what I'm saying? He was made into a monster, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was made into a monster from the stuff that happened to him, the things that he had to do you understand? The things that he had to do to become who he is. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like this, brother. You never like something so much that you can't do without. And you never be willing to do anything to get where you want to be at. You got to have principles. You got to have morals. You got to keep with that stuff. And in that music business, a lot of that stuff get thrown out the window. You understand? And that's what happened to him. He started doing the things to other people that was done to him. To keep it frank, he was doing the things to other people that was done to him. And it is what it is. You got to know better. And if you know better, you will do better. When he was in New York City, he was like that gecko from the Geico commercial. Then he turned and start uh, going, when he lived in Cali and Miami, he turned into Godzilla. I would see him talk about how he using drugs. He was never like that. Smoking cigarettes, smoking weed and everything like that. He turned into something that you could consider a monster, bro. Then he started doing things to people. You understand that he learned. That's a learned behavior, bro. Now, I'm not saying that he may have been doing a couple of things here and there with women, stuff like that in New York, but the things that they're talking about that he was doing, bringing in prostitutes to have sex with his girl and all that stuff like that, that was some crazy stuff to me, man. So I'm just looking at this whole thing, man, and... um. You had asked me, and, and we don't have these conversations like most people do. We're going to go back and you're going to tell me what uh, uh, we're going to talk about this. You said, I'm going to ask you how you feel, bro. I don't want to, I don't want no man to ever go to jail and be leaving their kids behind, be leaving their family behind. You understand? But some dudes belong in jail based on what they do and how they do it. We know that to be true. And it's just this situation, man, um, when they get down to all the facts and all what happened, he may belong in jail, bro. And that's not my doing. That's not Cassie doing. That's his doing and his learned behavior from the people that mentored him. You got to realize, man, you got to, you, you, he learned from Andre Harrell. He learned from Russell Simmons. He learned from Clyde Davis. You understand? When those people are, 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 are telling you that they were in heavy into the drugs, 
they was heavy into beating women and doing things at that age, at, at that crazy stage, that's going to make him think that he could get away with the same thing that they was getting away with back then. You understand? The things that he was saying, you know, the touchy-feely between two men and all that stuff like that, man. All that sh he learned that from them dudes. When I told y'all the story, when me and my man went up to Russell Simmons and he had a house and he had a, a, um, a man in bikini drawers in his bedroom, in his bed. You understand? bro? this is sh that he learned. I'm, I'm assuming he learned it from them. Let me put that. And I, I'm not going to say alleged because I saw that for my own self. My man was with me, Slick was with me, and we saw that for our own self. You understand what I'm saying? So these are behaviors and things that with drugs and all the stuff that's going on, pills, uh, uh, drinking, uh, it, make, it can make this man into a monster. And that's what it did, bro. It made him into a monster, bro. I personally feel like he got a lot of the things that he did from his mentor, and then he probably uh, 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 did it to the to the tenth power. You understand? Uh, Russell Simmons admitted that he was a drug abuser. You understand? Uh, Russell Simmons admitted that he used to put his hands on women. So it's alert behavior, bro. Some of that stuff may be in him through his childhood. Through his childhood, he may have some of that things in him, but a lot of things that he was doing was a learned behavior, bro. You just don't, you just don't just, just turn it in, in a matter of years the way he was doing people, man. You understand? Check this out, bro. He led... Biggs to his death. He caused a rift between Wolf and BMF that led to Wolf death. Cuss Wolf mother out. Lied about owing him 300000 Because you had asked me how I feel, and, and, and I'm going to get into how I feel. Took a good friend of ours who raised money when he had the City College tragedy. A good friend of ours did things to make him popular in Harlem. Let him hang with us, be part of our crew the whole nine yards. Disrespected him and wouldn't help him. This is how I feel about him. being locked up and going to jail. Some people, they karma is so strong for what they do and what they did. The stuff that he did to Craig Mack. You understand what I'm saying? The stuff that he did to Black Ra and all those people in the spiritual world right now. His karma was about to catch up. It was bound to catch up with him. You understand what I'm saying? His karma was bound to catch up with him, brother. So all these things that's going on right now, the learned behavior, what he got from these, these people who was not living spiritually correct with their behaviors and the things that they've done, He go and transfer and do that to people with the fact of all these people that he's hurt, that always helped him and been on his side and been there for him. What's happening to him now is one of the greatest tragedies that we're going to ever read about, bro. This is going to be one of the greatest tragedies that Shakespeare couldn't write and Richard, he couldn't write it in Macbeth. He couldn't write this shit in homie Romeo and Juliet. This is going to be one of the greatest tragedies of hip hop, along with Pac's death, along with Big's death. And he brought it on himself because he knew 
that he was wrong and he knew that he learned something that wasn't right. He no different from right and wrong, bro. You have a, you have a way to, to, to change. You know when something is right and when something is wrong and you know if you're wrong, you get help. He didn't choose none of that, bro. He chose to be who he is and now he gonna learn. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode on reaction videos like never before with Red GTV. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now back to you, Red GTV. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. We here. What can I say? Kids, don't smoke cigarettes. But I do. I let you bar.